Greetings and welcome to this video. Here I'm going to show you how to use the Clone Stamp tool in Spectralayers Pro 7. In addition, we'll augment our work at the end by making a few quick edits using the Eraser tool that will help refine the end product and make it sound a little bit more natural. Here I'm using the Spectralayer standalone application, but remember, this work can also be accomplished in ARA mode right on the Cubase and Window timelines to achieve the exact same result. Okay, let's have a listen to the problem audio. It sounds like this. The peaceful environment has been interrupted by an annoying industrial sound. Click on the clone stamp tool. Now you can see the tool along with its associated settings. Let's make a few changes to better suit the project. Here, I'm significantly increasing the tool's size, slightly altering the shape, increasing the feathering effect on the inside edge, and finally I'm dialing the gain up to 0 dB so that the clone will be drawn in at the same amplitude as the source. Here, I also have controls for using a pressure-sensitive pad and sourcing clones from all layers at once. And now with these changes in place, our tool is perfectly configured to deal with the unwanted sound. Click on the Pick Source button. A blue outline appears, indicating that the tool is now ready to register a new clone source. Click once over the area that you want to use as a source. Here, I've selected an area right next to the unwanted sound. My next click will produce a clone. Click over the problem area and the clone appears. Here, I'm holding still for a moment so that you can examine the feathering effect I dialed in earlier using the hardness control. Okay, now I'm simply moving the mouse over the problem area and replacing its content with cloned audio content. Let's take a listen to the result. I'll play the original sound one more time so you can hear the difference. Here I've zoomed in a little bit so that you can see the cloned audio on the right positioned next to the source audio on the left. I could easily create more differences in this sound by dialing in a new clone stamp, perhaps smaller and narrower in shape. Or I could create a very significant difference a lot less invasively by using the eraser tool. Here I'm attenuating several short, sharp transients with the eraser tool in order to create a difference, while imparting basically zero audio artifacts. And here's the result. And one more time, here's what it sounded like before. In Spectral Layers Pro 7, applying the right combination of tools can deliver amazing results. Here we've seen the Clone Stamp tool in action joined with easy fine tuning using the Eraser tool. Once you become familiar with all the tools available in Spectral Layers Pro, you'll always find new ways of applying them together in fresh combinations. And remember, this work can all be accomplished in ARA mode on the Cubase and Nuendo timelines. In the DAW workflow, Spectra Layer's post-production, repair and restore, and sound design options are powerful, indispensable, and importantly, they're always just a few clicks away. We hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Spectra Layers Pro 7 delivers audio empowerment. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinberg channel.